Thinking about the time you drove in my car. Oh, wait a minute. This ain't a singing video. It's a cooking video. <laughs> Dave from West Virginia. Check out all these ingredients, everybody. Tarragon, cilantro, cayenne, super chili, jalapeno, garden salsa, holy moly pepper, Hungarian wax, world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper. I'm smarter than that, YouTube. Then we got some uh, onions, garlic, white cucumbers. Anybody ever see a white cucumber? I've got them. Green cucumber, pickle and salt. Got some sugar, peppercorns, red pepper flakes if we need them. Mustard seed, pickling spice, bay leaf, vinegar. Already got my pickling salt there. Ready? Got some utensils here. Got my 10 inch Westoff Trident chef's knife. Got my Smith knife sharpener. Go to Lowe's, get one. Smith's. Go to Lowe's, buy one. No, they're not paying me, but they should. Anyhow. I've got uh, six cups of water in there. We're going to put some stuff in those jars. It's refrigerator pickle and refrigerator pepper time in West Virginia. I'm going to call it like the West Virginia Pepper Pickle Cucumber Fest. Something like that. What do you think? Carry on. All right, we got six cups of water in here. A lot of videos I've watched. They're showing 50-50. Mrs. Wages calls for eight water, eight cups of water and four cups of vinegar. I I'll put six cups of water in there. I'm going to put six cups of vinegar because a lot of people on YouTube, they're going 50-50. That's just how I'm going to roll. It's for the brine. Two. Four. Five percent acidity on the vinegar. It's normal vinegar. And I wanted about a cup of pickling salt. Put a cup of pickling salt in there. I'm just going to add a few shakes of sugar. I don't know how much it is. A few shakes. Okay, get her boiling. All right, got to cut some of this stuff up. Got to cut these ends off them cucumbers. We'll put them. We'll put them. There's more of them. Just put them there. Put them in. Cut them eighth inch to quarter of an inch, whatever y'all like. I've already washed these things. Uh, I washed them yesterday, basically. I was down there watching videos and got too late to make videos. Yeah, it's probably playing with the camera too much, making some scary open videos. You know it. Got that cream song stuck in my head. Thinking about the time you drove in my car. I wish Eric Clapton would bug somebody else. I'm trying to sing that verse. I love that song though. Hit the West Off Trident again. The Smith's sharpening tool. Oops. That's a pretty good job, really. All right, enough green cucumber cutting. I'll give y'all a break. All right, now the white cucumbers. This one got a little too big. We're sure gonna pickle the hell out of it today, what do you think? I normally have to special order these white cucumbers. This is my second year growing them. 
I'm going to show you what they look like here. There's a normal one, there's a white one. Like like I said, this one grew a little bit too big. I, I didn't see it, it was hiding. But they taste just exactly like a green cucumber. Um, like I said, I normally have to order them, but Lowe's had them this year. I was quite surprised by that. So this will give a little, little mix in your pickle jar, you know. People will be there like, what the hell is that? That's a white cucumber. culinary inspiration, you know. Give it a aw appearance. I've never seen a white cucumber before. Well, I hadn't either so I had the internet. That's what the internet does for you. Explore your options. Alrighty. The brine heating up. Salt's about dissolved here. Looking good. Bring it up to the boil. Then it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. I saw a lot of videos where they're making refrigerated pickles and they throw a whole clove garlic in. My thinking is. Why don't you just slice it up and you'll get more garlic flavor out of it instead of the whole garlic sitting in there. So I'm going to slice mine up and put it in my pickles. I think a little different, I guess. Might be good, might be bad. Can't hurt, but... You know, you... You just gotta listen to what people tell you, and then if you can add your twist to it, why not? You might surprise yourself. Which is what I do. It's in just, yeah, you know, it's not too much. It's not dice or nothing. It's just putting in slices like that. Also read where some people put tarragon in their pickles. I've got tarragon out there. I haven't used it once. And I'm gonna try it on one jar, see how it goes. So tarragon. Stuff grows fast. And I'm even gonna put cilantro in my jars. And I didn't even see anybody tell you to do that, but who yeah, I'm gonna try that. I might discover something. Love garlic. One of these days I might have to try to grow some. I just really don't have a place set up for a normal garden. And whenever I've seen garlic grow, it's always like, you know, in a straight line, like a normal garden. We'll see. I've got about an acre out there. I could probably find somewhere to put it. There's the garlic. There's the onion. Mix some onion up in there. Everything all good and pickled. We finally got a dry day here in West Virginia. I tell you what, it's been one rainy summer. I bet you. The people who are in poles are pissed off because they ain't hardly been able to use them this year yet. We're halfway through today, yeah, it's July 15th. Alrighty. Give y'all a break, I'm gonna cut up some peppers next. 
going to bring this to a boil. And then I've seen a lot of videos that once you let that cool down to room temperature before you pull it in, pour it in. And you know what? I think I'm going to try that this time. I've made these pickles one time, and I poured it in hot. And the pickles really, they really wasn't that crisp. They kind of was a soggy. I, I didn't put no alum in it or anything like that, or no grape leaves like I've seen. So we'll get this boiling, pull it off, and we'll let it cool down. And then we'll pour it to it. Now, I may make up a batch of these banana peppers and pour it on hot. But the cucumbers, I'm going to make sure this stuff is nice and room temperature. Dave from West Virginia. I'll be back like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Got my priorities, Bill Gaddy. Mm. All right, boiling. Time to pull her off. Let it cool down, I guess. Videos I saw. A lot of them want you to... Uh, let it cool down before you put them on your pickles. Got me some, uh, whew, I tell you what, I just stuck one of them in my mouth. They look like this, and then they turn like this. Hungarian wax peppers. Those little bastards are hot. I'm not about to stick this Carolina Reaper in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Mm. Got me all choked up here. Messed up my beer flavor. I, okay, I drink cheap beer under that, but still. Stuff's hot. Oh, fresh ingredients. Okay. We'll get a few more things sliced up here, and then we're going to throw it all together. Um, the peppers I'm going to do first. I am going to pour hot liquid on them. I think that'll help them out. But the cucumbers, I'm going to wait till this brine is room temperature before I put it on. So, go take a smoke break, a beer break, a coffee break, a water break, a pee break, a break or whatever you got to take a break let your dogs out let your cats out go spank your kids if we're being bad no i just kid. anyhow i'll be right back dave from west virginia all right here we go make the peppers first little peppercorn in there mustard seed. You really don't need the red pepper flakes. You're putting the peppers in there, right? I'm going to throw a bay leaf in there. Pickling spice. Mm-mm-mm. Teaspoon or two. And I'm going to throw the cilantro in with the peppers. I'm going to do a little twist. That's what I'm going to do. Put in your peppers. Look at those beautiful peppers. The garden salsa, you got cayenne, you got banana. Holy moly, jalapeno. I didn't put the Carolina Reaper in there yet. I'm going to save that for something else. Never did this before, so hopefully it turns out right. I left these long just for appearance. The cayennes. And break it up a little bit. Yeah. Why not throw tarragon in there? See what it does. Yeah, it's all about trying things. Cilantro, tarragon in there. Got your pickling spices. See that? Wash my hands and we're going to put some of that warm, warm, warm pickling mixture in there. There it is. Gotta get the Pyrex out here. Make sure you got all the Veggies covered. Clean 
close. They look beautiful. Bought these ball jars at Walmart. Had them all. I cleaned them in hot water and done dishwashing detergent. Woo! Things warm. All the videos I saw. They want you to. Once you get it tight, they want you to shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. And that Taylor Swift song. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah, get all them pickle spices in there good. Okay. Now one video I did see said to leave these sit on the counter until they get, you know, room temperature upside down. So I'm gonna try that. Okay. There's our peppers. Peppers are done. Now on to making pickles with cucumbers. Dave from West Virginia. We'll take a quick break. Okay, we're going to get our cucumber jars ready. Little tarragon. Garlic, onion, bay leaf, peppercorn, little extra mustard seed, pepper flakes. Pickling spice. Teaspoon or so. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Throw some white ones in there. Then throw some green ones in there. Then throw some onions in there. Then throw some green ones in there. Hmm. These are going to be good. So right now I'm just getting these prepped. I'm going to let that brine cool down a little bit. I'll go through it again here. A teaspoon or so, pickling spice. Bay leaf. Red pepper flakes. Mustard seed. Low extra peppercorns. Mm -mm -mm. Garlic. Onion. Cucumbers. Tarragon. Cucumbers. Little bit of onion, cucumbers, a little bit of garlic on top on this one. See, just stack it however you want. Beautiful thing. Another one. Tarragon. Onion, garlic, Ooh. cukes, bay leaf, red pepper flakes, a little heavy on that one, pickling spice, mustard seed, peppercorns, heavy on the peppercorns. Onion, 
Mm -mm -mm. Smell those fresh vegetables. Another jar. Garlic. Onions. Mustard seed. Pickling spice. Bay leaf. Red pepper flakes. Of course, peppercorns. Hello. And who's here? Onion. More garlic. Mostly white cucumbers in this one. That one ready. All right, folks. What I'm going to do now is something special. This is the world's hottest pepper. This is a Carolina Reaper. We're going to make some Carolina Reaper cucumbers. Be advised, you need to wash your hands now. So there you see it, Carolina Reaper, cucumbers. Put them in the bottom. Pickling spice. Just like they all get. Mustard seed, a little extra. It suffice to say you don't need the red pepper flakes. For good lord sakes, it's Carolina Reaper. You probably don't need peppercorn, but we're gonna put it in there anyway. Bay leaf? Yeah, probably should throw one in there. Fit it for everything else. Whew. You ought to smell the heat off these. Garlic. Onion. Whew. Wow. <coughs> Dude, that, that stuff is serious. I'm telling you, this stuff is hot. You can just, it reeks of heat. Carolina Reaper cucumbers. You've seen it first here in West Virginia from Dave from West Virginia. I was brainstorming earlier. I thought, you know what? It'd be cool as hell. I made something like that. Some Carolina Reaper cucumbers. And then see who had the balls to try. <laughs> I know, I don't. Appreciate you all watching. Thanks for the kind comments. I haven't got too many negatives. I did get negative on that damn Jeep door. Couldn't get that damn Jeep door open, but good lord. You don't have that. Yep. That's about all we want to do here. I'm going to add a little extra on this one. This one be special jar. Love. This is my Carolina Reaper cucumbers. You've seen it first here from Dave from West Virginia. All right. What can I say? It's going to be some good stuff. Guarantee that. I've already tried some of this stuff. A few months back, I made some of these refrigerator pickles. They turned out excellent. I'm just. Letting the brine cool this time instead of pouring it on hot because I think it made the cucumbers a little bit more mushier than I thought they should be. So we're gonna let it cool down. When it cools down, I'm gonna come back. We'll pour it on, and we're gonna cap them up, put them in the fridge. People say wait three days. Sometimes I wait more. 
and uh, it's an excellent recipe. Go to YouTube, search refrigerator pickles, and pick out one you want to try yourself. Very easy and very tasty. Dave from West Virginia. I'll be back when this brine cools down. Okay, YouTube. Here they are. Five nice size jars. Cucumbers. Refrigerator cucumbers. Refrigerator pickles. This one right here, though. Them kids asked me before they grabbed one out of this one. This has got Carolina Reapers on the bottom. I tell you what. If you cut them Carolina Reapers up next time, wear a glove. I tell you. My finger is burning right here. It's got to be from that Carolina Reaper pepper. Things are ridiculously hot. I haven't actually tried one yet, but my finger has. Okay. So I'm going to let these cool down to room temperature before I put them in the fridge. They look good. The cilantro in there. I, uh, speed up the process. I move the brine into the fridge. There's some cucumbers and onions and some brine I made there a while back. That's good stuff right there. But I'm trying to cool this down pretty quick so we can get it. cucumbers. Make us some good refrigerator pickles. Dave from West Virginia. I'm going to check back here in a few minutes. Once that stuff's cooled down, we're going to put it in jars. We're going to cap them, flip them upside down, let them sit till they get room temperature, then they're going in the fridge, and then it's on in about three to five days. Dave from West Virginia. I'll be back. All right. Brian's about down to room temperature. Saw all those videos out there. I thought, well, maybe I should try that myself. Time to fill them up. See if we got enough brine here. Getting close. And my finger is still burning from that Carolina Reaper. I burnt my fingers on having airs before. I had a bar. I should have worn my rubber gloves, but there's only two peppers. So it takes one. Of them. They say leave them on the counter for a couple hours so they cool down room temperature. One of the most videos I've seen, so I'm going to do that. I did it the last time I made them, but I really didn't research them as good as I did this time. They also said you can add water. You run out of brine. About half 
full on my Carolina Reaper. I'm wine, water, and a little bit of vinegar. said you could do that, but I saw it on YouTube. It's going to be the truth, right? Okay. Carolina Reaper cucumbers. These cucumbers are going to bite somebody in the ass. I'm telling you, these things are going to be bad. These might be something I take to a party. Y'all want to try one of my cucumbers? <laughs> one of my pickles? These are spicy pickles now. Oh, I eat all kind of spicy food. No, serious, these are spicy. Ah, give me them damn things. Okay. Carolina Reaper pickles in the house. Dave from West Virginia. Thank y'all for watching. Made my wife some mixed peppers here. She likes that stuff. Now I put the hot brine on these, and I'll wait it. Put the old refrigerator to work and uh, cool that brine down before I put it on the cucumbers. See if we can make them crisper this time. I'm gonna leave them upside down for a while, another hour or so, uh, and then put them in the refrigerator. And supposedly this stuff's good for three months in the fridge. Thanks for watching. Dave from West Virginia. Cheers, everybody. Get your beer on. We're midway through summer, 2015. Y'all take care. I'll catch you next trip.